Hi, I'm Maddie. Welcome to or back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me answering personal questions video. But instead of doing like an everyday get ready with me, I'm going to be getting ready for a dance competition. No, there is no actual dance competition for me to go to, so technically this video serves absolutely no purpose except for me to have something to do and answer some personal questions that you sent me. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get on with the video. I asked you on both my YouTube and personal Instagrams, so I will be pulling questions from both of those to discuss. So I'm not really going to be talking about what I'm doing to my face just because I've done dance comp videos. The first question is, what is my favorite type of coffee? I have several types of coffee that I really like. My absolute favorite drink, like if I could have any drink ever, it would definitely be the iced caramel cloud macchiatos from starbucks those things are literally so amazing and i obsess over them they are ariana grande's drink for those of you that do not know and i'm a huge ariana grande fan so that's how i got hooked on them in the first place is because like she endorsed it now if i cannot get an ice caramel cloud macchiato ice caramel macchiato is just regular ones are also really good options for me i just really like the flavor moving away from macchiatos my second choice would be the irish cream cold brew this is also from starbucks you can't tell like starbucks coffee is definitely my favorite this is a holiday drink though so it's not available year round which is really annoying now at home if i cannot like go to a coffee shop to get food to get food to get coffee then my go-to drink at home is just plain black cold brew coffee mixed with coconut milk i gotta pull the hair back i've literally been filming for five minutes and all i've done is prep my face the next question is how is your love life simply put frankly i think that people in high school put way too much emphasis on high school relationships in my opinion it's they're not really that important like if you find someone that you're compatible with and you get along and you want to date then that is fine like that's right you do you but i think that those people that their whole life through high school they think that they have to be with someone like that's a very toxic place to be mentally personally don't put that much importance on it like i'm not actively out you know searching thinking yeah, oh my god i need a boyfriend sort of thing like that's just not good so if you're in that state get out of it moving on the next question i received was where do you want to go to college if you don't know i'm currently a junior so this is definitely a very hot topic to be talking about frankly i want to go somewhere that is good for what i want to do which is architecture and will accept me at an affordable rate for me and my family. With all of that being said, there are a wide range of schools that I am looking at. And at the moment, my top two schools are USC, which would be Southern Cal, and UVA. Now, this is definitely subject to change. Like, those are not safety schools for me. I don't think those would be safety schools for anyone. They are extremely competitive to get into, but they are some of the top universities in the country for what I want to do. And I've toured both of their campuses and really, really liked them. So at the moment, I would say that's where I want to go to college, but there are definitely tons of others that I'm looking at. And my list honestly keeps changing so much. We have the base done, so now I'm going to set it with this awful powder that I have had since elementary school because I hate it, so I've never finished using it. 
I just do not like powder, but for dance, you have to set it in place, ladies. I don't even know why I'm like acting like I'm gonna go dance because for being honest, as soon as I get done filming this, I'm gonna take it off. The next question that I got was, are you popular? Um, absolutely not. I think on the daily basis, there are about three to five people that I speak to when I physically went to school. And now that I don't physically go to school, the people that I actually talk to, meaning instead of sending blank Snapchats, there is a text box on it or we iMessage or something like that, the number is down to more like one that I can think of, one person that I can have continued to talk to beyond just sending blank Snapchats. Now, I go to a relatively small school, so most people that go to my school know who I am. But again, I go to a extremely small school. There are less than 400 students at my school. So it's not like I go to one of those massive high schools with 4,000 students and all 4,000 know who I am. No. Yes, people know who I am, but I would not consider myself part of the popular group. And when I say popular group, we all know what I'm talking about when we refer to that. Every school system has that. If you tell me you go to a school where there's not a popular group, I will not believe you. Now we're moving on to some more dance specific stuff, mainly disgusting smoky eye look. The next question I received asked, are you rich? From my personal perspective, meaning my own bank account, I would say for as, as far as people my age go, I would say I am better off than most people my age. But this is because I have been working over a year. I've worked for that amount of money. My parents only pay for my gas to get to and from school because they figured if I wasn't driving myself, then they would be sending their money on gas to take me to and from school. So that is the extent of the money that they put into my bank account. The rest of the money that goes into the bank account is money that I have earned myself. Another person asked my thoughts on makeup, which I thought this was a fun one to include since I am doing my makeup while doing this. If you are doing makeup because you truly like makeup, meaning you enjoy the process of doing this, then I think that that's great. You know, you should have fun with it and that's great for you. If wearing makeup boosts your self-confidence, then I think that you should, you know, do that. But you should not feel the need to do that. Like if there's a day where you're feeling great and you don't want to wear makeup, then you, I feel like you should not wear makeup because you know what? You're feeling good enough that day to not wear it. You don't need to wear it. You don't even need to wear it in the first place. It just makes you feel better about you. The people that wear makeup because they feel that they need to because of society i don't vibe with that like no sis don't wear it i'm sorry the mirror is gonna have to go here for a second so the next person asked about workout motivation for workout motivation honestly i would just say like listening to your body is the best way so pay attention to how you feel during and after certain workouts. So for me, the thought of running is bad, but when I actually run, after I run, I feel good. So then I feel motivated to get that pleasurable feeling that you get after completing a workout. Now, if that alone is not good for you, then I would recommend some kind of tracker. Okay, so I never explained what I meant by tracker. Basically, the two types of tracking that I recommend are some kind of fitness watch, so I have an Apple Watch, but Fitbits or something like that, totally motivational, would recommend. The other type of tracker that I recommend is bullet journal or like a paper pencil version. However, I was not finding the paper pencil version to be motivational enough for me, and I find that my fitness tracking device is much more helpful for me personally. If listening to your body and tracking yourself and like giving yourself rewards when you meet these things isn't working for you, find 
had to work out, buddy. I really don't know what to tell you after that. I finished the makeup look. I'm gonna go change into my costume and then I'll get back to answering some questions and work on my hair. Yeah, I'm changing into my costume and I'll do like a full body shot later, but it is a two piece costume. that I received was how has YouTube impacted your life for me YouTube is just something that I do fun on the side it's not something that I envision growing into my full-time career while it is my dream job for sure I'm very realistic in the fact that millions of people want this job and only a small percentage are given the opportunity to do it full-time now, with that being said, I think YouTube has impacted my life in some ways in the fact that I'm always looking for creative ideas and pushing myself creatively to come up with three video ideas each week. I think there are definitely periods in my channel where you can see where I was not feeling inspired because it's just like basic things that I've done before. But I think it's important to push through those creative down times because I think some really awesome ideas can come out of it. For example, right before I left for California, I was really struggling to come up with ideas to film before I left for California and then coming back from California and having all this time to create. I've had so many amazing ideas and I'm really glad that I pushed through that creative drought. I think it's very easy for YouTubers to take a break when they're out of ideas and while I think that can sometimes be necessary for mental reasons, I think that trying to push through and really push yourself creatively is a great opportunity and I'm glad that I have done that. Starting my channel has allowed me to create and save so many more moments that I would not have otherwise. Like for example, I probably would not have vlogged my college tours if I didn't have a YouTube channel and now I'm so glad that I've done that because I can go back and watch those later and see how I felt when I was actually there which those will be critical for me to look back on when making a college decision and I think there's, there's just so many great things like that so if you're someone out there who is contemplating starting a YouTube channel I would just say go for it because the worst that can happen is you don't like it and you just delete your channel but I think giving it a good honest shot is something really great to do. Those are all of your questions and I completed my dance look. So if you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what videos you want to be seeing. Be sure that you're subscribed and have the bell turned on so you can be part of the hashtag Eminem Squad. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!